Hello, beautiful. How are you today? Welcome to my Amazon Live this evening, where we are talking about how to create your own emergency medical folder so that you and your loved ones can remain safe and protected no matter what life throws your way. I am so glad that you're here with me tonight. And as you hop on, do me a favor and tell me who you are and where you're joining me from. I always love to hear that so I can say hi. Um, I see that, oh, actually, I kind of see. I half see because I am blind as a bat right now. <laughs> there we go. I see Janet. Hi, Janet. You started following. Thank you. Welcome. And well, World Creator Tara, that's a cool name, started following. Joan D. and Nancy S. Thank you so much. I am so thrilled to have you following me. Um, as you will find out, <laughs> I talk a lot about organizing, cleaning, productivity. I've been a professional organizer for over 18 years now. So those are some of my favorite topics that you will hear. And if you're following me, then you'll get alerts whenever I go live. So welcome, welcome. Feel free to chat with me in that chat area because this is a two-way conversation. I would love to answer any questions you have as we go through these things, but we've got a really good big night tonight, and I am so excited to share this. This is one of my favorite things that I get to share with people, <laughs> so strap in because tonight is going to be good, and let me pull up. There we go. Almost. All right. So. As you um, are watching, let me know in the chat area, do you already have an emergency medical folder or do you have some kind of quick grab, any type of quick grab thing that you can use for if you have to go to the hospital or to bring to doctor's appointments or especially if you're not able to communicate and first responders have to come? Do you have something that you are able to use for that? So let me know that in the chat area and let me make sure that all of this is set up right and everybody can hear me okay. And let's do this. All right. Okay, so as we go through, I will be sharing some items with you that you can use to set these things up, um, to set up your emergency medical folder. And as I do, I will highlight it in the uh, carousel. So the carousel is that part either to the left or underneath your screen. And all you have to do if you wanted to look at something closer then, or find out more information about it, then you can just tap on it and it'll open in a different window so you don't have to worry about missing anything as we go through this. So feel free, tap on anything to get more information about it or just, you know, to do whatever you need to do quite frankly, and I will be here to answer any of your questions. So to start off with, what am I talking about when I say an emergency medical folder? Well, this is one example of an emergency medical folder, and this is just a quick down and dirty way to make sure that all of your important medical information for you and for the rest of your family and your household is in one place. So if something were to happen, you can quickly grab it and go to the hospital or take it with you to a doctor's appointment just to make sure that you have all the information that you might need with you and to update it. Um, or especially if you're not able to communicate and first responders have to come to your home, then this is where they can find all of the information that they will need in order to treat you or your loved ones appropriately. So as you can see, this is just my sample emergency medical folder that I put together for you. And we'll talk about how to assemble one of these, what type of information you would put inside of it, what products can help make this a little bit easier for you, what else you might want to carry with your emergency medical folder, because this will also help if there's um, like an evacuation or anything like that. So you will have everything that you need in order to be protected. That's what our goal is tonight. Now, I'm going to start off with what is the emergency medical folder? What's inside of it? So inside of the emergency medical folder, uh, you will see I'm using some templates that I just created and um, you can see that I've typed it up so that I can 
fill it in as a PDF. But this first page that you'll want to put into your emergency medical folder should have all of the most urgent information about you or your loved ones. So life-threatening allergies, conditions that are very important that they know about immediately if something were to happen, a contact name and number for somebody who can give them more information about personal ID numbers and things like that that you don't necessarily want to possibly put in here that could be found by somebody else. Um, and then I like to either use, and I'll show you some of these different things, use some different types of dividers that can hold papers or information. One option is, are these OOT pocket folders that I will show you in a little bit. And you can just create a divider for each person in your household. So each person can have their own section. And then within that section, you will have all of their emergency and basic medical information. So that would include things like their name and address and health insurance information, but also if they have any legal documents in place or if they're an organ donor, donor their blood type, um, emergency contact information, allergies and conditions. These would include ones that are not life-threatening at this point. Vaccine information. So have they been vaccinated? When were they vaccinated? Uh, there we go. Current medications and prescriptions. All of that type of information should be in that person's section. So that way the emergency personnel or doctors have the information that they might need at their fingertips. And you would just do one of those for each person. And then an important section that a lot of people don't think about when doing an emergency medical folder would be your pets and home information. So for your pets, you want to make sure that you include emergency information for them. Who's going to take care of them if you're not able to? So what's a guardian's phone number, contact information, um, and then emergency information about the pet. So first responders or caregivers know how many pets you have. Are there specific hiding places that they might be hiding um, if they can't find them? Microchip IDs, all of that type of information about your pets. And then home information as well. So you'll want to have information about the alarm company. You won't want to put the actual code in the book, but you can have somebody who would have that information if necessary that they can contact listed in the front. Emergency locations around your house, like where are the circuit breakers and um, fire extinguishers, water shutoff valve. Do you have a landlord and what's their contact information? So that's the type of information that you will want to include for the home itself in case anything happens. And then I usually like to include a notes page as well and a business card holder. So we will talk about these different supplies. And as we do, I'll sort of recap a couple of these different areas that we're talking about within this emergency medical folder. So you can get an idea of, okay, well in each section, what types of things are you including? But most importantly, I want to make sure that you have all of the supplies that you're going to need in order to put one of these together or upgrade and update yours if you already have one put together. So let me know in the chat if you already have anything put together, any type of emergency medical information. I see, I hope I'm saying this right. Is it Katen? Uh, that's a really cool name, Katen. She says, good evening, good evening. Glad to have you here. And JLo says, good evening, Susanna. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. So glad to have you, wonderful. All right, so let's talk folders, right? That's the most obvious thing that we're gonna think of first, folders. It has to be a sturdy folder that can handle being jostled around, that'll be easy to grab and go, and that can hold all of this really important information for you. So there are a couple of different options for folders that I like to use for something like the emergency medical folder, or if you have a life binder or anything like that, um, estate documents, these are a couple of my favorites. So let's start off with, this is the Forevermore Zippered Portfolio Binder. And this is such a nice binder. So if you want something that's just going to look nice and classy and definitely it looks even more luxurious than the price would lead you to believe, this is such a good quality faux leather binder by Forevermore. 
And this one, like I mentioned, it has a zipper and it is extremely sturdy. So unlike the regular leather that gets scratched up very easily, this one can handle a bit more, which is nice. So like I said, this is by Forevermore and it has the three ring binder inside of it. So unlike some of those other zipper portfolios, this actually can be a binder, which is awesome. Uh, oh, Jamie, or sorry, I'm sorry, Janice. I need to get my contacts checked. <laughs> Janice says, is this the same class that starts Monday? This is actually going to help you with the Monday challenge that uh, we are having over in the Facebook group and in your email. Yeah. So this is all of the supplies and overview that's just going to help you. If you have this, then you're going to be off like, like a rocket on Monday. So yes, this goes along with it and hopefully you enjoy it. She says, perfect. Thanks. You are so welcome. All right. And then Monday we'll go more into the actual like templates and everything inside of the emergency medical folder. But this is going to talk about the supplies a lot tonight so that you know what you're going to need in order to put it together. So this Forevermore binder, like I mentioned, um, Forevermore is fantastic at creating these faux leather binders that just look really nice and luxurious. So it's a nice option for keeping your emergency medical information in. You have the three rings, so you can put your medical information templates right inside along with your dividers and all of the other accoutrements, <laughs> accessories that we will be talking about later on. And you can just clip them right into those three rings. But the nice part is you have all of this extra space for storage. So you have some spaces for cards. Now I would not put credit cards in or IDs if this is your emergency medical folder, since this would travel with you to the hospital or things like that and would possibly leave your hands. But this is a great place for extra cards for your doctors and your medical ID card or the copy of it. Um, it also has some side pockets, which means that you can just put a whole lot of extra things in here to make it super, super easy and check it out. This zipper pocket, this is a great place to put your USB drive so you have a digital copy of all those templates that you've created. So that way you have this backup and it's nice and easy. Not to mention having a nice notepad right inside with a pen holder means that you can easily take notes while at the doctor's office or anything like that. And it's got this handy front pocket. So if you are at the doctor's office or the hospital, it's nice and easy to slide that paperwork that they give you right inside. So when you get home, you can file it. So like I said, this is by Forevermore. And this is a fantastic choice for creating a medical folder to take to the doctor or hospital with you. And it just looks really, really nice, you know, and really sturdy and secure for you. So that's just one of the many options that you can use your Forevermore binder with. And it comes in this really nice box. So if you're getting this as a gift, then it's already like in a really nice presentation for you. So I enjoyed that too. Normally I don't talk about the boxes too much, but they did a really good job with that one. <laughs> All right. So that's one of the choices for your emergency medical folder. And it is great if you wanted something nice and sturdy and that just looks durable and glamorous. Um, oh, Karen says, hi, hi Karen. So glad to have you here. Welcome. All right. So along with are looking really nice on your countertop or at the doctor's office, here's another option. Now this one, and I hope I'm going to say this right, Ospelelf. <laughs> so this is the Ospelelf linen three ring binder, and it comes with all of these dividers and the pocket and labels for your dividers. So you have everything that you need in one packet as soon as you get it. But this is a linen cover. So hopefully you can see it's got this very nice texture. It's very high quality. It looks, um, it looks upscale and really nice. I love for about this one. Most of all, I love this clipboard on the front. Because if you're at the doctor's office or the hospital, you can take notes, you can clip the papers that they give you while you're there. It's just so much easier to 
be able to have everything at your fingertips. So once you look inside of this one, um, you have a folder or a pocket, I'm sorry, in the front and the back of this linen binder, and you have the, the different three rings. Now this is the one inch version. They do have different sizes. So for an emergency medical folder, generally I would probably do a one inch unless you have a lot of extra complex or chronic conditions that you're trying to keep paperwork for, then you might wanna go for a larger one. But you can use these nice divider labels if you would like to, or just use a label maker, up to you. But the pockets that come on the dividers that are included with this uh, binder folder, they already have a nice folder in the front of each of them, which is very handy for keeping extra blank copies of some of the papers that you might have in your medical paperwork. Um, you can also keep additional documents, supporting documents, if you've not three ring punched them yet, things like that. And in the very back, it already has a zipper pocket for you. So the zipper pocket opens up and you can put things like an extra pens, post-it notes, flash drives. We'll talk about the different things that you can put inside of your zipper folders within your binders in just a little bit, but this one already has that, fo that folder for you, which is nice. Like I said, it already has the back pocket and I love it's, it actually has its pen holder. I love a binder with a pen holder. Can I just tell you? <laughs> and then some elastic that can just keep it closed when you're out and about. So this is a really nice way to have your emergency medical folder within reach on a kitchen counter or somewhere easy to access. Um, we'll talk more in the future about some places that you can store your emergency medical folder so it's nice and easy to reach, but this is a really good option if you want something that's just going to look really nice with your decor. They do have different colors available. This is the gray and I am absolutely loving it. It is I mean, it's great quality. The stitching is really nicely done. So you can tell that it's made to last, which I really appreciate. So check this one out. It's great for not only your emergency medical folder, but I mean, anything else that you need a binder for, this is just a fantastic one. So check that one out. Um, oh, you're so welcome, Karen. She says, thank you so much for doing this. It's so important. I'm a nurse and take care of multiple family members. Great subject. Oh, I'm so glad that you are enjoying it. Um, I, I just think it's so important as well. <laughs> so I am thrilled to be able to help people be more prepared. Thank you. Okay, so here's another option for what to use to store your emergency medical information. And this is actually one that I use still because I did have um, about almost two years worth of a much more complex medical situation. So I needed something that could go back and forth with me to all of the various doctors over and over and hold a lot more information. I had my whole complex and chronic uh, extra pages and logs and everything along with my emergency medical folders. So that way I could keep track of even more. And this would go to the hospital with me whenever I'd end up there, all of that stuff. So sometimes if you do have a more complex situation, or if you just want something that you can very quickly grab and take with you to doctor's appointments and things like that, then this is by Kaitiaki. So Kaitiaki's three ring uh, binder bag. Now I have always loved what Kaitiaki does. Um, they've got some very good quality items that I've used in the past. And this one is absolutely perfect for an emergency medical folder. For one, it has this fantastic fabric that is waterproof. And if something gets onto it, you can just simply wipe it away. So it stays so much cleaner and you don't have to worry as much about getting things on the bag if it's you know, going back and forth to emergency rooms and doctors and everything with you. That's one nice thing. It also has a super simple and comfortable strap. 
So this way you can carry it around with the strap on it and, or with the handles. Makes it super easy that way. Now, it also, inside, this is where the magic happens. So on the inside, and I still have this set up from my emergency, some of my emergency medical information. I took some of it out. But you'll see inside, it has that three ring binder. So this binder here is a nice large three rings to hold all of your paperwork, as well as those dividers and pocket folders, business cards, everything that you might possibly need. And it has plenty of space. I had this thing almost full at one point with all of the different blood work and imaging tests, results, and all that stuff that I had. Um, but when you're using your Kaitiaki binder, you can add dividers. It does not come with any of this. It just comes um, empty, which is good. It's like a nice blank slate that you can build your own. But you can add in your dividers. You can add in any templates that you want that you can use to fill in while you're at the doctor's appointment. And you know how sometimes you want to go back to certain section, but you have to close it and open it often. It has this really neat mesh, kind of a eighth pocket quarter pocket, quarter pocket, I guess it would be. So that way you can tuck some of the pages into it. And when you open your binder, then it will open right up to that, which makes it so much easier. So there you go. I love that mesh thing. And on the other side, it already has some pockets for you. So it has this mesh pocket, perfect for like your USB drive, post-it notes, pens, things like that. And it's got this super, super soft pocket. It's this sort of a double divided pocket. And what I had is I would have all of my regular emergency medical information. And I would have that in my binder that normally lived on the countertop. And I could just slide it in before the doctor's appointment if I needed it. And I had this divided pocket that it fits so perfectly in with a very soft, soft inside. So if you are using something like bringing a computer somewhere, this is great for travel as well. Um, if you bring a computer somewhere for school, for meetings, for work, anything like that, having the extra soft pocket is going to keep it ex nicely protected as well. So this is by Kai Tiaki. And I would find that what I would do is when I would bring this with me to the doctor's appointments, then this huge, like it's massive, front pocket, it is so big, I could basically take out my wallet and my keys and my sunglasses and I'd just stick them in there so I did not have to carry a purse along with this. Or if I had a really small purse, sometimes the whole purse would fit right there. <laughs> So this large front pocket is very handy um, if you have other things to bring with you. And it's got a back pocket and it is great for travel because you can put it right over your suitcase handle if you need to. So they thought of everything <laughs> with this Kaitiaki three ring binder bag. And if I, like I mentioned, if you do have a lot of extra blood work, imaging results, notes, and different things that you are carrying back and forth to doctors. Maybe you do have a more complex medical situation. Having something larger like this that you can just grab and go and not have to carry in your arms, but you can put it over your shoulder. It really is very, very handy, not just for emergency medical information, but for so many different types of uses. However, like I mentioned, this is actually, this was still is mine, although I can probably downsize again if I need to, although I don't know if I'm going to. So those are three very different options for how to hold your emergency medical folder information. Um, those are some of the fancier ones. You can also stay very basic with it. So you could use just something like the Better Office Supplies they have the three prong plastic folders and those are fantastic if you don't have a whole lot of complex needs if you aren't concerned about what it looks like on your counter anything like that one of these is great 
really quickly, ah, I wanted to say to Melanie, she says, oh gosh, I was 20 minutes into a previously recorded replay before I realized it was the replay and not this live on the emergency medical file. Oh no. Oh no, Melanie. That's a bummer. Well, I am glad that you made it uh, and you got to the right place. Absolutely. <laughs> well, glad you're here, Melanie. Good to see you again. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about this Better Office products. It is simply a red plastic folder. Now this one came in a set. So um, this one came with, uh, does, did I write it down? I did not. So I don't remember how many are in the set. I will have to look at that really quickly, but let me see if I can do it from there. I can't. Um, oh, Karen asked, what time on Monday are we doing our other live sessions? We will be doing them at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So hopefully I can see you then as well. All right. So let me see if I can pull up how many come in that set because I have completely forgotten that one. It comes in six. There we go. Set of six. And these are a good heavy weight, um, very strong and durable plastic folders. And I do like really enjoy using just the basic plastic folders. Don't I say don't use the paper ones for your emergency medical folder because it will just wear out way too fast. This is something that can take a beating, get wet, and it's okay. Uh, Cause it's gonna rest, last the rest of your life, hopefully. <laughs> so you might have to change out folders eventually, but the information is a lifetime thing you, to always have an emergency medical folder. So with the Better Office Products folder, you'll see that they have the three prongs at just like back in school, and it has a pocket on each side. And one of the pockets has a little business card holder type of uh, cutouts, which that's very handy if you have a emergency contact that would be their first person to reach out to. You can put their information right there in your emergency medical folder, and it just makes it nice and easy for people to find the information that they need. But here's the sample of another emergency medical folder with different dividers, but it's inside of the Better Office Products three ring folder or three prong folder, I'm sorry. And you can see that it can hold a decent amount of information without having any problems at all. So for a basic emergency medical folder, these are fantastic. I used to use just these um, folders for our whole family. So check that out if you're looking for something just super basic and sturdy that will do the job really well. I highly recommend those as well. Now, when we are talking about what type of storage to use, a lot of times it does help to think, okay, well, where are you going to keep your emergency medical folder, right? And a lot of times I say, keep it in like your kitchen or wherever that main entrance is that if first responders had to come in and out um, or there was an emergency, what door would you use? And that's where I like to keep it, um, either right near that door or in the kitchen. And I like to say in the kitchen because a lot of times first responders are already trained to go look in the kitchen for emergency medical information. And you can just put a sign on your refrigerator, which is one of the places that they tend to look first, put a sign in your refrigerator saying where to find your emergency medical information. So that way, if you can't communicate, that's okay. Your sign will tell them exactly where to look. So if you have something like this nice bright red folder, then that's going to be a lot easier for them to find the bright red folder. If you can say, you know, it's in the bright red folder next to the toaster. Great. Then they can find this quite easily. Now, if you have something like the linen binder, this linen binder does come in various colors. One of them is a nice, bright, beautiful green. So you could always say it's in the bright green folder that's on the countertop or you know, even with the gray, if you just are very clear about where exactly for them to look, something that's very obvious next to the refrigerator, next to the toaster, uh, next to the microwave, 
something that is very easy for them to find. So they could easily find a brown leather, they could find the linen, whatever they needed. Now, if you have one of these larger bags, a lot of times what I do is I have the emergency medical information for first responders in one of the smaller folders. So that way I don't have this whole bag that would usually have a lot more information than you would need for the first responders. I would not have the whole bag necessarily on my kitchen counter, but that is up to you. I just usually slide my emergency folder into that bag before I go to the doctor's. Now, another option, instead of having the folders for the first responders, and this is something that I just recently found and am in love with, like absolutely in love with this, and I think you will be too. This is a Charles Leonard Magnetic Pockets. So these are, it's a set of four. There are four different colors, but these are really nice, strong plastic pockets, and the entire back is a magnet. So this can go on your refrigerator or your dishwasher or wherever you need it to go um, in your kitchen if you have a refrigerator that's magnetic. Then you can just put either your empty, your regular papers and a pen right in one of those pockets, slide that right in there and hang that on the fridge with that magnet. Or if you have a small enough, you know, if you don't have a whole lot of people in your household or a lot of extra documents, then you could even slide your emergency medical folder directly in there. So you'll have to try it out with the full emergency medical folder because, um, the pocket is just barely big enough for the whole folder with a little bit hanging out. But one way or the other, these pockets are fantastic. So I am going to be using them for so many different things. You could put them on top of a file cabinet or if you have a whiteboard, anything like that. They come in red, green, yellow, and blue. They are super sturdy. So this magnet is like a nice thick magnet. And the fact that it is so big means that it's not going to fall off your fridge. It won't like slowly creep down the front of your fridge like sometimes those weaker magnets do. Plus it also has this white strip is actually a place where you can label something if you needed to. So if you had maybe multiple lists going, then you could have, you know, these are my coupons and my grocery lists all in here and you could label what it is. Or if you have a bunch of different kids, then they could each have their own pocket with a label. And, you know, this is the papers from school for each kid could have their own pocket right on a whiteboard or on the refrigerator or wherever you need it to be. So these are really nice, sturdy pockets with this big magnet on the back and this is one of the things that I'm absolutely loving right now for the emergency medical folder or just emergency paperwork in general. So it's nice and easy for first responders or anybody to find the emergency information that they need, right? So those are options as far as storage, how to store your emergency medical folder, right? So there are some other things that we need to think about when we're thinking about an emergency medical folder, right? Uh, first off, you have to actually print out whatever templates you're using or emergency medical information. You want to print it out and hole punch it, right? Well, whenever I am doing something such as an emergency medical folder, a life binder, or any type of thing that's going to be inside of a three ring binder or three prong folder. I like to use, like I print it up on paper that already has the three hole punching done. <laughs> because this way it's always going to be nice and consistent. And you know, there's not gonna be certain pages that are kind of off and wonky because you got the hole punch a little bit wrong and it's just gonna save a lot of time and elbow grease. So this is by Hammer Mill. That's the type that I use all the time. It's just printer paper with the holes already punched. So I wanted to let you know that that is something that's available to save you some time as you're creating your emergency medical folder or any type of binder that you might create. 
And if you have any questions, like I mentioned, please feel free, ask them in the chat. And if you're just joining in, then I am so glad to have you here. Uh, Karen says that is brilliant. Oh, yay. I know, right? It's just wonderful. Some of the products that you can find these days that just make life so much easier and more efficient. It's wonderful. But if you're just joining me, I am Susanna Kay. I have been a professional organizer for over 18 years. So I love to share information that can help organize your papers, keep you more productive, keep your house clean, declutter, um, as well as sometimes I like to share some just fun things too. But I'm glad that you're here. Please make sure to follow me and you know keep in keep connected because if you follow, then you can find out whenever I'm live again. So we're talking tonight about building your own emergency medical folder. So that way you have all the information for you or your loved ones that you might need. If you have to go to the hospital, just go to a doctor's appointment. Um, if first responders come and you, and you are not able to communicate everything that you need. Um, oh, thank you so much, Karen. Uh, she says, she's brilliant, sweet, and so helpful. Thank you, thank you. I love that. You're amazing. And um, thank you so much, JC, for following. I'm glad that you're here. Wonderful. All right, so we talked about the different folders and containers that we can use for our emergency medical folder. We talked about the fact that you can save some time by having three hole punched paper, right? Um, a few things that you're going to probably want inside of your emergency medical folder. Now these are optional, you don't have to put them in there, but I do find that a lot of these just save a lot of time and energy, which that is what I'm all about, right? The more time and energy we can save, the more other stuff that we can do that we actually enjoy. <laughs> so here are a couple of things. First off, um, we have the Better Office products, sheet protectors. Now I personally don't use sheet protectors there we go. Very crinkly. Sorry. Um, I personally don't use sheet protectors in my emergency medical folder, but I know a lot of people who do. So it's completely up to you. Let me open this. So I stop crinkling. So now this is a large pack of sheet protectors and I use these all the time. All right, so this one comes with 200 different sheet protectors in it. And it's nice because they aren't extremely thick, which means that it's going to not add a lot of weight um, and thickness to your emergency medical folder. So I use these for things like my emergency medical folder. I don't really do that one as much, but I use like my life binder or caregiver binder, things like that, where I'm not changing the information as often then I do like to use some sheet protectors sometimes. So this is a really good one to grab, uh, very cost effective, they hold up really well. And generally I say, if you're not changing the information on the sheet very often, then a sheet protector is a great way to go. Um, like I said, optional for your emergency medical folder, but if you're looking for a sheet protector, uh, those are good ones. Now, next, you're going to need some dividers, right? Because if it's just you and your household, that is absolutely fine. You might not need as many dividers, but it's still nice to have some so you can separate out what the medication is, um, where your notes are, what's pets, what's you. So these are by C-Line. And I, uh, like these are probably my number one favorite set of dividers and I know I'm a nerd <laughs> only a professional organizer would have a favorite type of divider right but these really are my favorite ones when it comes to an emergency medical folder and the reason why is if you look at these dividers they have this clear window pocket as part of the divider so the divider itself is actually a pocket and you can just tuck in that little um, flat to make sure that everything stays in it really nicely. But for an emergency medical folder, especially if you have more than one person 
that you are keeping information for inside of the folder or if you have a number of different pets. What I like to do is I like to use these dividers because you can put a picture of the person that is that's information is all behind that divider. So if a first responder comes to the home and you or your loved ones cannot communicate, when they open up that emergency medical folder, they will be able to tell which section is for the person that they're there to see. Um, it just makes it so, so much easier if they can see, okay, this person, this looks like the person that's right here. Um, now I know that all of this information is about them. These also are a great place to put additional things like those um, when you go to the pharmacy and you pick up a medication, that one sheet that tells all the information about the medication. I like to just stick those right in that person's folder and this way the emergency medical professionals can see that they're in there and easily find them, but that gives them even more information than just having written it on the page itself. So these C-line dividers, I absolutely love them. They come in a pack of five in different colors. And, oh, oops, that one's upside down, sorry. There we go, <laughs> five different colors. And they have just been fantastic. They last like a really long time. They're very durable. And I would say that's definitely one of my more essential upgrades that I do for the emergency medical folder because having that photo and additional information uh, just is really helpful for first responders or any medical personnel to tell what they're looking at. So along with that, now again, this is optional, it's not required, but I do find that it makes a huge difference in my life, not just with the emergency medical folder, but everything that has to do with papers and organizing. It is my label maker. I cannot talk about papers and fold emergency medical folders without mentioning having a good label maker makes a huge, huge difference. Now, this is my brother. Um, this is actually a slightly older model than what you see highlighted on your screen. And that's simply because this older model, they don't sell it anymore. I've had this for at least 10 years, probably longer and it is still working absolutely fine, hence not buying a new one, but Brother has been fantastic. I've been using Brother label makers since I've been, like my very first professional organizing job back in 2006. <laughs> so it's been over 18 years at this point. And they've, it's always been very durable, very reliable, and I do find that in my experience, it wastes a lot less label tape than some of the other label makers I've tried. So I really enjoy using it. I also, um, while I don't use often, I don't use all the extra fancy stuff, it is nice every once in a while to be able to do something a little fancier. And with the Brother P-Touch series, they have very fun little um, like emojis or icons and they have different fonts. They have little frames that you can put around the labels. So if you are into crafting or making things a little nicer, then yeah, you can do some really fun stuff with these as well. And I usually say now this, the bundle that I have highlighted in the carousel comes with a starter of four different cartridges for the label maker. So that is a great thing. It's gonna keep you in labels for quite a while and you can more than label your emergency medical folder with that. Um, if you are looking at the different types of label tape, they have various colors and um, just like there's a wide variety. So you can get really creative if you want to. But I do say that the only ones that you really need when you grab a label maker is a black on clear and a black on white. And that way you're going to be set for anything you need. Um, having black on clear and black on white means that no matter what the surface is, you are going to have something that is going to look nice. And when you label something, instead of using your own handwriting, 
even you, but especially other people, can read it a whole lot faster than regular handwriting. So it just makes it so much easier for uh, emergency personnel or your family members to be able to quickly read what is written when it's typed up versus handwritten. So things like your file cabinet, even things like your linen closet or first aid bins, using a label maker makes a big difference. So check out the Brother P-Touch. Absolutely love it. But that's not a requirement for the emergency medical folder, but it does make it look that much nicer. Um, oh, hi, Sammy. Sammy says, will this be available to watch later? I just got here. Yes. As soon as we're finished, you will have the replay will be available on my Amazon storefront page, which is right near where you're at. So absolutely. And if you are just joining, anybody who's just joining, make sure to follow me so that you can get notified whenever I go live. But also, I am Susanna Kay. I'm a professional organizer. I love to teach all things about paper organizing, home organizing, productivity, cleaning, just stuff that makes your life safer easier and better overall so you can do more of what you really enjoy doing and keep checking me out because I will be live on Amazon uh, usually once a week and I will often be teaching something along with sharing the products that I love. All right so now we've talked about the main parts of your emergency medical folder right we talked about what kind of binder or folder to put it in, where to store it. If you missed any of it, that's okay. As soon as this is done, you can watch from the beginning um, and check out the replay. But we talked about, you know, you're going to put all of your emergency medical information itself in there. Having pockets is extremely helpful. Um, so, oh, actually, let me talk next about we talked about sheet protectors. That is optional. Um, I don't use sheet protectors in mine, but a lot of people do like to have sheet protectors with theirs. We talked about dividers and how having a divider that can show the photo of the person that all of the information is talking about is really helpful for first responders. Uh, and we talked about labels having labels for the different names of the people or pets or sections makes a big difference and even labeling your binder itself is really nice and helpful and oh uh, thank you melanie and nancy for following i appreciate it i'm so glad now you can get notified whenever i go live that's great so next up really quickly i'm going to talk about a few other things that i don't have to do a whole lot of explaining for but they're really useful to be inside of your medical binder one is a business card holder. Now, this business card holder, this one is by Rubex. And let me see if I can pull it up. It's right here. So this is by Rubex. And you can see it's just basically like a sheet protector, but you can slide your business cards right into it. Now, the reason I use a business card holder inside of an emergency medical folder is for one, you can slide a copy of your health insurance card right inside, which is very useful. But you can also, every time you go to a doctor, you can just grab one of their cards, slide it in, and you'll have all of their contact information right there and very easy to find. Um, whenever I grab my primary physician's card, I do like to grab several because that way, if I have test results or imaging or something ordered by a different doctor, then I can also ask them, you know, hand them one of the cards for my primary doctor and say, can you also send the results to this person? So having those on hand is just really helpful. I talked about, I started to talk about and then changed tack because I realized we had not gotten there yet, the Oot Pocket Folders. Now, you've heard me talk about Oot before. It's E-O-O-U-T. Right? E-O-O-U-T. Yes. <laughs> I have to try to remember that sometimes. But Oot has been one of my favorite uh, organizing companies for quite a while. And this is who I use for all of our pocket folders. So whenever I do like 
binders or emergency medical folders or anything like that for clients, I use these by Oot. Now, I really love these pocket folders. They have multiple holes, so no matter what type of binder you have, it'll probably fit with these Oot holders. It's also a little bit bigger than a sheet of paper. Um, I'm wondering if I have a sheet. There you go. So, if you see, here's like, this is a regular sheet size paper. You can see that it's a little bit bigger. That means that it can hold several, like a small stack of papers quite easily. And it's very durable. It has a nice piece of Velcro that you open and close. So I use at least one. Sometimes I will use these as my dividers, but I use at least one of these pocket folders within my emergency medical binders because this way it can hold a lot of extra um, accessories that can be very, very useful in case of an emergency or if you have to go to the hospital, anything like that. And I wanted to find, ah, oh, here it is. So really quickly, what would you put inside of your Oot pockets inside of your emergency medical folder? Well, some of the things that I like to put inside of the pocket of my emergency medical folder, for one, cash. I like to throw a little bit of cash in there so that way if anything happens and maybe I run out of gas or I need a snack, then I have some cash. So I throw cash in there. Um, I also like to throw two different types of pens and a type of highlighter in there. I like to throw my friction pens, at least one friction pen in there. So friction pens, uh, and let me see if I can pull this up actually. See if I can grab this video. Um, so a friction pen basically is an erasable pen and they, I use them every day. <laughs> like I love, love, love my friction pens. And, um, so I wanted to show you, this is how they erase. change this back over. There we go. That's what I wanted to show you. So this is an example of how the friction pens work. And these pens, um, they use friction in order to erase. So what that means is when you're writing them out, then you are not going to get all sorts of pen mark on the side of your hand. You are not going to have it smudge at all. They're going to write like normal pens. Oh, you can't hear me. Can you hear me now? Hopefully you can hear me now. Um, but they'll write like normal pens do. And in order to erase them, oh, thank you, Sammy. <laughs> in order to erase them, you just use the friction of the back end of the pen. So I like to keep some of these with my emergency medical folder because things change so quickly, right? With our medical status, you know, maybe you get a new prescription or maybe um, all of a sudden you have a change in your doctor's appointment that you'd written down, whatever it is. If you're using friction pens, that means that you can just erase whatever was there before and rewrite something. So it just makes it a lot easier to keep it nice and neat and without having all sorts of things scratched out because I just am not a big fan of having everything scratched out. Uh, so that's the friction pens. Now, I also like to include some friction highlighters. 
Now the friction highlighters are just like the friction pens in the fact that um, they can be, oh, there we go. In the fact that you can write with them, you can erase them and it makes it nice and super easy. And let me see if I can pull those up. It does not want to, there we go. So these are the highlighters and these friction highlighters, um, you can erase them just like you can with the pens and they won't smudge. And it's just really nice, especially if you have things like lab work or something on some of your paperwork that you want to be able to highlight just so that you can discuss it maybe next time with the doctor. So having those is just, I find very convenient when you are trying to, you know, take care of all the medical stuff. So I throw at least one friction pen in and I have those highlighted in the carousel. And then I also throw at least one friction highlighter in. So that way, as I'm going through test results, things like that, I can highlight anything that I feel is very important that I want to remember for next time. Sammy says, do you use the highlighters over the friction pens? You can actually, yes, absolutely. It's so cool because then um, if you highlight over a friction pen, when you erase, it's gonna erase both the pen and the highlighter. If you highlight over a regular pen, which I do like to include at least one regular pen as well. If you highlight over a regular pen, then it will just erase the highlighter, but not the pen, which is nice. And I do a number of things sometimes with regular pens and friction pens when I just want to erase certain parts, but I usually throw one of my R2 pens in there. They just, I just like using the R2 when I have to use a pen that's not erasable. <laughs> so that goes in my pocket. A couple of other things that I throw in my pocket, I'll highlight these as we go, but post-it flags. So these are by the same people that do the post-it notes. And these are just little flags. They come in a set of four different colors and I'll just grab at least one of those sets. These are fantastic for just marking when there's a paper or some something within your folder that you want to kind of keep track of or find again easily. You can use these tabs kind of like making your own dividers. So just like a post-it note, you can stick them on, you can peel them off, you can write on them. I write on them with my friction pens and then I can erase them and use the tab for something else again. Just makes it super easy. So I throw some of these in there in my pocket. Some other things that I throw in the pocket, post-it notes. So that way, if I have something specific that I want to mark on the page itself, write myself a note or write a note to ask the doctor, Handy to have some of these in there. And I also, one of the things that I keep inside the pocket is I will keep a sheet of whole reinforcements. So whole reinforcements, um, these are really helpful. If you have a piece of paper that is has got the three hole punching and it starts to rip a little bit or you wanna make sure it does not start to rip around where those holes are, they're just little stickers that are round. So you stick this around one of your hole punched papers. I can show you on our hammer mill paper that's already punched for us. But when you have a hole, then you can stick it around. And I usually do one on each side. And this is going to keep it from tearing as easily. So I like the white ones because you cannot really see them and it just adds that extra reinforcement. So if you're not using sheet protectors, it's just nice to have some of these right inside of the pocket. And because this is something that I would bring with me to the hospital or if we had some sort of evacuation, um, I like to make sure that I have a phone charger with me. So this is by CXX. This is just a really good, fast, phone charger. This is the iPhone version. There's also one for Android in the carousel. That's also a really good fast one. They're six feet long for the cord. I find that if you are bringing a phone charger for something like a hospital or emergency evacuation, grabbing a long cord is helpful. You don't know how close you will be to an outlet. So having that long cord is really helpful. 
Um, another thing that I like to make sure that I have, and oh, it looks like I did, missed adding it to the carousel, but if you just grab some adapters, because I like to include within my either binder, I'll put this through the rings of the binder, or in the pocket within my emergency medical folder, it's a flash drive. But with this flash drive, this one is by Silicon Power. So this flash drive by Silicon Power, I love that it has a ring, this hole, because when I have a binder, let me grab our linen binder really quickly to show you. But when I have a binder such as the emergency medical folder binder or um, a life binder, something like that, I can have all of the pages with information. I can have a backup of them on this little USB drive. I could also have you know extra test results, all the different medical records that I might not want to have printed out. I could just stick that right inside the rings of my binder. And this way I will have it with me if the doctor needs some copies of something, then I can have that right there. If I need to print out some new templates or new fresh copies of any of the pages, I don't have to try to remember where I stored that file. I have it right there with me um, wherever my binder is, my copy is right there so I can update it super easily. But you might be at the doctor's office and um, they might not have a USB slot anymore because of course technology changes so quickly. So just having a little adapter that can change it to like a USB-C is also really helpful just in case. And I just keep that right on that flash drive. Now, if you have a flash drive that does not have a ring on it, then you can just toss it right into your folder as well. But there you go. So now you have, you're have you prepared for all of the different things that you might come across. If there's anything else that you think of that you might want to add, as you know, we talk about during the week, um, we'll talk about some various other things that you can think to add in there and stuff like that. But feel free, make it your own and just, you don't have to make a huge deal of making this perfect. The whole goal is to at least get it started. So if you start building your emergency medical folder on Monday and you find, oh no, I forgot to order, you know, maybe I forgot to order my dividers. That's okay order them and just maybe grab your post-it tabs for now and create temporary dividers. Just do something temporary until you can get what you need, but don't let not having the perfect supply yet stop you from getting it created. Um, and don't worry about having to fill it in all at once. You can fill it in a little bit at a time. Every little bit that you have filled in is useful. So the second you start to fill it in, it will be useful for you because you will have information at least started for whatever medical situation comes your way. And it just makes it super easy when you have all of your folder just built and ready to be filled in because then you can fill it in at your leisure as you go whenever you have time. But most of all, make it yours. Just whatever works for you, if you need to adapt it in some way, that's absolutely okay. But having an emergency medical folder for you and your loved ones, whoever's in your house, including your pets, will make a huge, huge difference if you ever have a situation, a medical situation. And I've heard story after story after story about how having an emergency medical folder has literally saved lives, but also just made life better, <laughs> made things easier, made things um, faster, and just giving you that layer of comfort and security that we all really need. So, uh, oh, welcome. It says Am Amazon customer started following. I'm so glad that you started following. Um, welcome, welcome. 
That wraps up our emergency medical folder overview and how to build your emergency medical folder for tonight. I am Susanna Kay, and if you just started following and if you just found me, then I love to share organizing, productivity, um, paper organizing especially, cleaning, all of those types of products that just make life easier, make your home feel more comfortable, and make you more safe, secure, and happy. So check out all of my other live streams as they come up. If you're following me, you'll get notified whenever I go live. I will be live next week on Saturday. And next week, I'll give you like a quick teaser of some of the things that we'll talk about. But next week we are talking about, uh, what is it? It is emergency and safety products for your home and your health. <laughs> trying to think, what were they calling it? Trying to think of the words. But I am going to have some really cool stuff that are essentials to make sure that you and your loved ones stay safe. Along with your emergency medical folder, just having some of these things on hand can make the difference in life. So some of the things that we'll talk about, this is not all of them, but I have a really cool flashlight, like super, uh, super strong flashlight that also has a seatbelt cutter and window breaker. So this is perfect for the car in case anything were to happen. I'll share that next week. Uh, and that one's by Hoto. I will be sharing. This is by Fordham. And this is like a backup jump starter for your car. If something were to happen, then you can get your car going again, which is really helpful. I'll tell you more about that next week. Uh, Santa Medical. Simple pulse oximeter. So if you're ever concerned about pulse oxygen or... If you are concerned about blood pressure, then Medra or Mera and San Santa Medical, I can't talk. I will be sharing both of these essential health tools to make sure that you stay nice and safe. I will also share a portable CO2 detector. So if you travel or if you um, have any concerns, having something portable like this CO2 detector can be really helpful. And keeping your pets safe. This is by uh, Dr. Cuddles. It's Ready Rescue. If your pet accidentally eats, swallows something poisonous to them, whether it's a cat or a dog, having these rescue vials on hand uh, there's three of them. This could be the difference between, you know, having your pet for years and years and not. And also it can save you a ton of money with the emergency vet. <laughs> but this is Ready Rescue for Your Pets by Dr. Cuddles. I will talk more about that one next week too. So as you can see, we're talking about safety and health and some of those products that you might not know about or you might not know which ones are actually worth getting. And these are all tested and tried by yours truly. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Go build your emergency medical folder. Grab your supplies right now so that way you have what you need on Monday. If you see anything in the carousel that is interesting to you that you want to grab, there are a number of things that I highly recommend. Make sure to tap on them. And whether this is the replay or the live, tap on them, add them to your cart, and grab them so that they can get to you very quickly so you can get that all set up and have that security that you really want for you and your loved ones. Keep being amazing. Keep taking those small steps. I will see you next week. And I love you. Bye, beautiful.